Hi guys and welcome back to Sussex Farms. So before we start, I'm just going to explain why I haven't done this series for, I think it's been two weeks. Um, I've been busy doing live um, streams, but I'm happy to announce this series is coming back every Thursday. Now I know this this video will be coming out on a Friday, so I'm doing this for Thursdays only because I have a very big work schedule on that day so it'll only be uploads on that day uh, this Friday the video is out that is just a one-off so yes anyway in today's episode we are picking up the silage bales we have sold the land down here 19 and we sold the house we've paid off all of the um, loan and we now have £81,781. So anyway, we're going to sell these. And I believe we're selling them at the cargo ship. But we'll double check. Now, I did do this video earlier, but my electric went off. Which is a real pain. So you have you guys have missed me finishing the harvest on that field my house was on. And yeah, basically... I was about to finish the video and the game froze. So I drove this all the way to the port and not, not my game froze, the electric went off. So yeah, sometimes these things happen. But anyway, I have included the screen capture for the side panel. And also I'll be turning on the crop destruction again when in the next episode, because I completely forgot to do it, do it in this um, video. We are going to go across country here. I hope the other farmers don't mind. But we are a bit behind. I wonder how much we'll get for these. Um, I'll put cruise control on and have a look. So it is £653 per 1,000 litres. So, it's going to be quite a bit of money. Now, in the video I was doing before my electric went off, I went through that way. Up the right there. But there wasn't an entrance. So, we'll be going this way instead. Turn my beacons on. And I will turn the map off because I know where I'm going. But yeah, it's just um, such a shame, guys, that you've missed pretty much half the video. Well, all of the video because my electric went off. So what it was guys, it wasn't um, a power cut because of wind or anything like that. What happened was um, an extension lead we have, which is mega old, the fuse blew in it. So I've taken that out for now. It's what um, connected the TV together. We thought it was the TV, but it wasn't. Do I have to turn right there? We thought it was the TV, it wasn't. It was the um, extension lead. But yeah, it's very old. I think it's been going... 2007? 6? It needs a new fuse, I think. We At first we, th we thought the TV went... But anyway, we're going to go drop this off. I now know how to get onto the ship. Because obviously the video I did before, when the electric went off... Um, I could not figure out how to get on the boat <laughs> until I saw the control panel. Which you had to click. Now, whoever decided on that feature is absolutely fantastic. I'll show you what I mean now, if you haven't played the map. Stop here. Look, there's this control panel. Hit right, right click on your mouse. Amazing. Now you guys are probably thinking, why have I got the auto loader arm on the ground? Well, for some reason, it thinks I want to unload, so I've tried everything to get it back up, but I can't. Actually, I can. Oh, I should just push transporting position. Never mind. <laughs> I'm being a bit thick. You guys have just went, oh, awkward. You've just made that bit awkward. Whoops. Anyway, I'm here. So I think unloading is this one. No, that gets the arm down. 
and that comes down. So, 40,000, maybe? Maybe I'm being a bit optimistic. I'm guessing that's not the sell point. What has gone on here, boy? Don't tell me it's over there. Unrealistic, I know. There's a bloody switch. Typical with this map. Okay guys, I, as you may know, I'm still getting used to this map. Okay. Well, that's a bit awkward. Very awkward, in fact. It makes it really realistic, yes, but at the same time, it makes it utterly confusing. I'll do here. What I'll do here is. I know it's not ideal. I know it's not realistic. A lot of people are going to have a go at me for this. Do that. But that is a lot of money. And my difficulty, I believe, is on normal, guys. Yeah, I'm not just going to give that a break. I'm going to give that a rest. I'm just going to throw them all in by hand. Not realistic, I know. But in real life, you could just push these bales. You could just roll them over. I've done it before in real life. They are rel rel relatively easy to push along, but you can't push them uphill, obviously. Unless you have about two or three people helping. When it comes to bales, people think they weigh a ton, but in fact, they don't. Now, why is it done that for? So someone did ask me why am I not um uh will I be putting will I be doing six ashes on a let's play? And my answer to that no because I have I'm doing a multiplayer on that map. So it's not happening. Anyway, let's let's trade it. Get out of there, shall we? So this video isn't going to be long, guys. I just wanted to um, tell you all about the series. It's continuing every Thursday now. I know it's Friday. This has come out. But this is going to be every Thursday. Till further notice. So one episode a week. And now... Oh, okay. It's a piece of wood there. Good. As you know, I thought then, hmm, a little bit of trouble. Yeah, while I'm here, I might as well go into the pause menu. Oh, by the way, I've sold the header as well. The header we had, I'm going to buy one which has already got the hitch and wheels. I know it's a lot of money. But I'm glad we got rid of that loan. So you guys are thinking, how am I going to time 
No, fast forward time. I'm going to get a mod for it. It's a loud chip. And I believe this trailer is leased. It is, which I'm going to return. Now, there are about 10 bales left on the main farm's field. But um, I'm going to leave them there for future. Because I know that our finance won't always be fantastic. I know we're going to hit a, a you know, bad time for money. So we might as well save money up. You know what it's like. One minute you can be doing great, and then the next you'll have no money left. So we're going to go back, back to the shop. Um, if I'm honest, this T7 has to go back. It is leased. Uh, I don't want to get rid of it, but sometimes you have to um, in fact what I may do is stop here turn the pigeon off what I'm going to do is re return it now well I forget and the JCB can go back as well so we haven't got a powerful tractor guys we have the case here now yes I know that front loader needs changing black preferably and here's the Ford. Now, this area here is pretty much the pallet area. This is where all the junk comes. Uh, it does need to be sorted, look. But anyway, we're going to go to the store in the Ford. This, I love this tractor anyway. Um, uh, also, as you may notice or can hear, I am now using my wheel again. I'll go to the shop here, pick this header up, bring it back, and that's the end of the video. I just wanted to do a little video to explain to you guys what's going on, because it's been two weeks since my last Sussex Farms, and you guys are probably thinking, wait a minute, what's going on here? But every Thursday will be a new episode. Yes, I know it's Friday when this comes out. Well, the, yeah, it is Friday when it comes out, but uh, it's just a one-off. So I get views every day of the week, not to miss enough, not to miss anything. But it might change, guys. It might. It's gonna. It's gonna vary in what game. So it could be this. It could be ATS. Um, yeah. It could be a pro mod. It could be anything. But I would love to buy this field here, guys. This one here. I'd like to make a track in the middle of it. And then it's quicker. But we need, do need to buy a tractor. Now, I'm a bit disappointed because I thought we owned the JCB. Or one of those new Hollands. But it turns out we leased them both. Which I can't remember doing. And we also, guys, need to buy sheep and horses from the other map. Oh, because Perbeck, Perbeck, Perbeck Valley we had now I must say I didn't add all the money because I said it was unfair so what I may do is add a million pounds now you guys might think well that's a bit unfair isn't it actually no because when we sold everything on Perbeck the equipment, horses and land we had about six million pounds I think I, I only brought two million in not, not even that, 1.5 million in so, if I'm honest, I was being, well, I've undervalued myself, well, this map. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if I should. But I think it would be a good idea to um, bring it, bring another million pounds in. Because obviously, if I brought six million in this map, uh, it would have been... Let's say too easy to uh, complete. Well, just to yeah, to complete, we could buy all the lands and everything. But um, yeah, we're out of debt. 
we have £55,731 now. Hence, because I bought this uh, header look. Much bigger header. Now the harvester, which is over at the field we sold, has, I think, quarter of a tank of soybeans in it. But yes, that needs to be... That harvester needs to come back. Get emptied. And we're going to have to have a look and see if we've got any thing to anything to harvest because we need to return that harvester and possibly the header now I'll be honest I shouldn't have sold the header trailer because I've just realized that corn header we had slash sunflower header that's not got a trailer now never mind so I'm gonna, I, mean, I am going to decide if I'm going to add a million pounds but a part of me is saying no because I want to work towards it. This Ford is very slow, but I love this tractor. But firstly, our main priority is a new tractor. I'm just going to drive over the crop. And in the next episode, we'll have crop destruction on. And we'll then decide if we should add a million pounds in that. So let's go up here. Now I'm going to leave this just here for now. Let me get my engine off. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have liked this episode, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button so you are notified when I go live. And yeah guys, till then, bye for now.